Hey Throners, in this Hype Game of Thrones Season 7 video, I will explain my theories about the new title leak for Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 4 called Spoils of War. Please make sure you click on that subscribe button to become a member of the Azor Hype family and click that notification bell to stay up to date with my daily videos for Game of Thrones Season 7. HBO's Asia website released the name of the title for Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 4 and it's called Spoils of War. One of the themes of this season is war, the fallout from it, and how it affects the realm. And I believe that this episode, we will see the Field of Fire 2.0 when Daenerys, her dragons, and the Dothraki ambush the Lannister forces after the sacking of Highgarden. Now, the rumor is that this episode will be solely focused on a big battle, and this is the shortest episode of the season at 52 minutes. But this will be the turning point in the war where I believe Daenerys decimates the Lannister and Tarly armies. We heard Olenna say that Daenerys should be a dragon, embracing her house words of fire and blood, expressing herself and her vision in the way she sees fit. It's interesting for Olenna to say that she believes for Daenerys, for her own good, for her survival, will depend on her embracing her nature. However, in A Game of Thrones and The Song of Ice and Fire, there are always consequences directly related to your actions causing a parallel reaction. In episode 3 of season 7 called The Queen's Justice, we will see Euron return to King's Landing with his gifts for Cersei and this can be seen as spoils of war. But what will the spoils of war be and what will they represent? We need to take a look at the word spoils itself. In Middle English, spoils means plunder coming from the Latin word spolium meaning to strip the skin from an animal. Which is interesting because the Lannister house symbol is represented in the form of a lion and the Targaryen's house symbol is a beast. A dragon. Spoils has a few different meanings including goods stolen or taken forcibly from a person or place and diminish or destroy the value or quality of or to treat with great or excessive kindness, consideration or generosity. So based on these meanings, here are my predictions. Your own Greyjoy will enjoy his spoils of war in the form of Yara by laying with her and raping her as his slave as well as gaining Cersei's trust. He will advance his agenda to become King of Westeros. Cersei will reward Jaime by laying with him for the sacking of Highgarden and winning that battle, as she will give the spoils from the sacking of Highgarden to pay off the Iron Bank. She will also, I believe, either poison and kill Tyene Sand returning the favor for what happened to Marcella or burn Alaria alive with wildfire, mirroring what happened to Rickard and Brandon Stark. Daenerys will decimate the Lannister and Tarly forces and will take the Tarlys prisoner, but will execute them and burn them alive to send a message to Cersei and advance her agenda of conquering Westeros. And Jon Snow and Davos will be granted their wish to mine Dragonglass on Dragonstone for becoming Danny's allies so they can arm the North in time for the War for Dawn against the White Walkers. I'm sure there are a few more things that I can think of, but I want to know what you think will be the spoils of war and how it will be represented, and if you believe that this episode will be the big battle and the Field of Fire 2.0. Give me your top 3 spoils of war for this episode in the comment section, and give me your predictions and theories so we can keep this hype conversation going. If you enjoyed this video and want to help this channel spread like wildfire, you can click the like button and I'm going to set a goal of 500 likes for this video. And please make sure you click on that subscribe button to become a member of the Azor Hype family and click that notification bell to stay up to date with my daily videos for Game of Thrones Season 7. Let's keep the hype going. And if supporting the channel is something that you're interested in and you want to become part of the hardcore members of the Azor Hype community, you can support me on Patreon and I have all sorts of awesome rewards, setting up early access to my write-ups, videos, and some extra hype content. So thank you to all of you awesome patrons who make what I do possible and thank you so much for watching and seven blessings. Fuck the king. <laughs>